It's National Day in Sweden. The whole royal family is glowing only one looks grumpy. You can see that Chris O'Neill doesn't feel comfortable with this and all the other official appointments. But for his wife's sake, he tolerates it. Finally, Madeline has stated that she wants to live in her home country again. But the move from Florida to Stockholm is postponed until next year. Now more and more voices are asking themselves, will entrepreneurs in Sweden really endure such a thing? Princess Madeline and Chris O'Neill, a tough test for their marriage. One thing is for sure, it's a stress test for a marriage. Chris O'Neill has overcome at least one obstacle. Because as a Swedish citizen he would have to disclose his finances, he has a German passport. As an EU citizen, he is spared that. A businessman doesn't like his cards being looked at. That's why the native Brit didn't want titles or other royal favors when he married the daughter of the Swedish king. He just doesn't feel comfortable on the big stage. He always wanted to remain private. Because Madeline is at least partially resuming her royal work in Sweden. In addition to her work on childhood, she has obligations to the crown. And most importantly, their three children Leonora, Nicholas and Adrian must study in Sweden to avoid losing their title in duchy. Madeline and Chris find themselves in a desperate situation. And that creates conflict. Even though the move has been postponed for a year, the problem remains. But Chris is determined to take on the challenge, telling King Magazine, I'm here to support my wife. This is my job. And maybe he'll look a little friendlier at the next meeting.